Mark Lear Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's me, Mark, Mark Boudelier. And today we're doing a video that I never thought I would uh, see myself make. I feel like I'm in 2017 all over again. I feel so young. I feel like I'm, you know, really getting an early jump start to this YouTube thing because today we're doing a Supreme Lookbook review. Or lookbook? Maybe it's not a lookbook. It, it, it's been a minute since I've been looking into the whole Supreme thing, so I've, I'm a little rusty here, but we're doing a Supreme review for this week. Um, so I want to say this is like, I don't know, maybe their fourth, fifth week, whatever it is. They're, they're a little bit of the ways into the fall winter season, but this is probably their first heavy hitter collaboration in a little bit of time now, especially these like kind of designer collaborations. They obviously did Yoji Yamamoto. Um, they've done CDG in the past. A lot of the more like iconic Supreme pieces are um, a part of those CDG collaborations. But this one is a special one. Junior. Junior Watanabe on... I'm not going to make that joke. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the pieces. If you're new here, hi, welcome, subscribe, and we'll go ahead and get going. So we are currently on Supreme's website where they have launched the whole news thing. They walk you through the entire story of Junior, if you will, and kind of how this collaboration came to life. Um, I'm not going to go too, too deep into it, but I will kind of highlight the last little portion here. Um, so it says, this fall, Supreme has worked on a collection inspired by Junia, yada, yada, yada. The collection consists of a shot, Scott, whatever, you know I love their leather jackets, a shot leather pea coat, Gore-Tex, denim parka, and pant, patchwork puffy jacket, cargo pants, and backpack. Work jacket and pant, sweater, yada, 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 beanie, keychain, all of that available November 4th. That's pretty much all we need to know here, just in terms of the materials, because once we get into these photos, sometimes it's, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to see what things are made of and all that. Um, but yeah, if you want to know more about the collaboration, just go on Supreme's website under news, and you can see kind of like more information if you if you will. But let's go ahead and get into the pieces. There's a good number of items that are in here, so I don't want to do any dilly dallying. Wow, I feel like I'm. Uh, I'm back in 2017. I feel like Blazendary right now, honestly. Um, I'm on SupremeCommunity.com, the little site where they pretty much just leak the pieces and people vote whether or not they like them or not, whatever. Anyways, the first one is this Supreme Junior hoodie, and it's like an all-printed hoodie. This one takes inspiration from Spring Summer 02 menswear for Junior, I believe. We got four colorways, two that are like a floral print as well as two that are solid. Um, right off the bat, they're okay. They're 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 okay. There's really not much else to say. I do think that this one floral colorway, this like kind of multicolored like red and bluish floral with the yellow print on it, I think that's a pretty nice one. I mean, it is inspired by spring summer and I do think that this is more of a spring summer hoodie. Like I could see somebody rocking this um, like kind of in like the springtime before it gets super hot. Like that's kind of what I'm getting from this thing. Um, I could almost see it like with shorts or something. I, I don't really see it as something that I want to wear right now. Uh, the other colorways, like the solid ones, Eh, like it really it's just a logo on a on a hoodie you know what I mean like it's it's nothing special uh, but yeah so let's just keep that one going that one got 352 upvotes and 46 downvotes so people people are messing with it um, but whatever let's go ahead and get on to the next one this one is quite possibly my favorite piece from this um, collection it is the puffer jacket the patchwork puffy jacket comes in two colorways the green one is objectively better than the black one let's be real um, if you say otherwise you're wrong but yeah the green one is like super nice very military inspired and it's not even to say that the black one is bad i like the black one as well but that green is just <sighs> it's nice this one is inspired by fall winter 06 junior did some pants kind of similar to this as well as i believe it was like a patchwork type blazer that's like semi-reminiscent 
I think this one is brilliant. I think the puffer style is really cool. I think the patchwork style is really... Not only is it on trend, but it's still kind of reminiscent of both Supreme and Junior. Uh, I think this is like, honestly, the piece of the collection, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that one's probably my favorite. I don't know what the retail is going to be on it, uh, because while I would love to kind of have that green puffer jacket myself, I will not be paying $600, and I'm almost positive that it's going to be at least $600, if not more. So... Yeah, that's there's that. I'm filming this before I have the prices, so hopefully the prices don't get leaked like five minutes after I post this. But if it happens, then uh, I guess this video is old news. But let's continue, because like I said, lots of stuff going on. Not even going to look into these t-shirts that hard, because I don't know what the hell that is that's on it. Looks like a scuba diver in some weird... What even is that, dude? Do you know what that is? Is it a mushroom? Like, what the hell yeah, is that? Mushroom. Like, why? Scuba diver and mushroom? That's garbage! Next up is this keychain. The little bug-looking keychain. I honestly think that, uh, you know, it's silly, it's fun, whatever. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not really pressed about a keychain. I'm not even going to talk about a keychain that long. It's probably going to be, like, $30, so... You know, it's, it's a keychain. All right! Now back to the more important matters are these patchwork pants, the pants that match the lovely puffer jacket we were just talking about. Again, these green ones are, they're doing it for me, okay? I, I enjoy these. I'm not like a huge supreme head. I probably sound relatively clueless making this video because I'm also not really an archive head. So I have a cheat sheet out in terms of these references because... I don't know what year every every last little piece came out. I'm just I'm just here to enjoy it and talk about it and shit on it. So yeah, these pants are cool. I like them a lot. Great looking fit to them. A nice little straight leg. It has little cinches at the bottom, which I think is a nice detail. Um, very like military inspired. The patchwork is very very junior, and then it has a little screen print. So one could argue that this piece is not like you know, that crazy of a collaboration or it's just Supreme's branding thrown on old Junior pieces, but I don't know. I'm just going to appreciate it for what it is. I think it's pretty sick and hopefully it's not all like super high in terms of price point because I will not be breaking the bank for any of these pieces. But anyways, next up we have this, I'm really confused by this piece. Um, it's a Junior supreme gore-tex denim parka what what is gore-tex denim like a denim chat a denim jacket with like the like like a waterproof denim jacket i'm really confused like is it like the print is meant to look like denim but it's gore-tex um i'm gonna assume that that's what that means but that sounds terrible that that takes me back to like the jaggings where it's like literally just like like meant to look like denim but like completely not and it's just like super stretchy and looks terrible I don't know, man. And and just the poem thing, like, I realize one of the most, like, iconic pieces in terms of Junior is, like, the poem pieces, but I think that was one of those that I probably would have just not messed with. I think that one was good to, to leave off the, off the table, personally. But, um, let's read the poem. When acquired, it is more important than life itself. It is the immortal state of love. The supreme... Supreme virtue of all virtues wow powerful look at these backpacks uh i think these backpacks are cool looking they're not worth the, the price that it's probably going to be at because honestly it looks like something you could get at a military surplus store um but they are cool so good stuff not gonna buy it let's continue uh next up we have this brushed camo sweater which i do believe is one of the better pieces in the collection Supreme's knitwear has always been pretty good in my opinion. I don't know if I've ever owned anything in the way of Supreme sweaters, but uh, I'll give it to them. I think it looks nice. What material will it be? Who knows? Will it be like an acrylic thing or will it be like a mohair thing? Because that's obviously going to change the price point. Um, I think it's sick. I think it's a cool piece. I like the subtle branding on the back. Probably could still do without it, but, you know, nevertheless. Um... I don't know. I think it's a good one. Let's 
keep it moving all right next up we have another t-shirt we got the bug tee the bug tee nice 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 um this piece is kind of mid in my opinion uh we got two colorways front back it's just the bug thing i believe it's in reference to some sort of like older junior piece as all of this pretty much is however pretty pretty mid in my opinion not really worth it i'm not really that big into graphic tees these days to be honest i still have some but eh, eh. it's not really giving is that what they say anyways um next up are these sweatpants they match the hoodies that we looked at uh i do not like these literally at all um the the floral ones in this case are starting to look very zara like to me um this literally looks like a like like a women's like cottage cord like kind of dress like i feel like i've seen that exact print on a zara dress in fact i'm almost positive or even like a j crew like summer like going out oxford shirt or something that like a 35 year old would wear um that's that's kind of what i'm getting from those and then the other two they're okay but at the end of the day they're just black sweatpants with the the logo printed on the back so if you're into that then i'm sure they're like good enough quality and everything but uh yeah in my opinion pretty pretty mid uh, after after frugal uh said that everything was mid in that one video i feel like uh that's just like a people get so hurt by that word now so i'm gonna i'm gonna use it anyways let's get into the poem printed work jacket so i don't think this one is that stupid gore-tex denim thing but it's just an actual work jacket um the poem man dude, it's just and it's a different poem you know i'm gonna read it now anyways when acquired it is more important than life itself it is the immortal state of love the supreme virtue of all virtues when acquired it is more important than and it just kind of ends just it just ends right there beautiful beautiful poem love that um there it is what it is you know it's just your average like drizzler jacket work jacket whatever you want to call it uh i do think that like the colorways that they picked are pretty they're, they're pretty nice i don't like hate them it's just the poems or they, they could have just left that out anyways <laughs> moving on we got the hoodies i actually kind of like these they i don't know what the i've definitely seen like the kind of collegiate looking like junior pieces out there um i don't know like what season they come from but i've like definitely seen um these pieces before in fact i actually like back in the day i almost bought an item that was i think it was just like a sweatshirt or something um i think these are pretty cool honestly i didn't actually see these pieces when they first dropped so this is like my first time really seeing them um and i kind of like them to be completely honest like would i buy this no um but like i wouldn't clown on somebody for wearing it you know what i mean like it's it's a very respect respectable solid little zip up next up is this hat they really just need to take that mushroom scuba diving sh and uh, throw it in the garbage. Also, I'm no hat wearer, but that looks like it would fit like absolute garbage. And I'm not going to talk about it anymore. So let's continue on to the t-shirts. Uh, this one is like a striped tee reminiscent of, I want to say like the junior Nike stuff um, that they did back in the day. Don't remember the year sue me go ahead dislike the video whatever bud anyways um these are kind of giving me like a pack sun vibe tbh uh or even like a zoomies thing i do like that they have like subtle branding subtle logos to them they don't look like bad quality the colorways aren't terrible but next up we have these beanies again my head is literally gigantic so pretty much no hat fits me therefore i have little to no opinion on hats next up we have the poem jeans i really did not want to see another poem piece but here we are just imagine imagine the one person who is going to pull out in the full poem set i 
couldn't bear to see that, to be honest. Maybe it'll be me. Maybe maybe when I'm in New York this week, I will go to the Supreme store and try on the full fit and walk out with it and be one of those dudes, you know? Like Next up, we have the button up, and we brought back the scuba diver. We brought back the f mushrooms. These are garbage. So we have this here, leather jackets, which again is like kind of in reference to some of Junior's like collegiate type pieces. I do think that he even had, he may have actually had a Pico with this graphic on the back. I don't know if it was leather, but for some reason this piece looks super duper familiar. But again, like I said, I'm not just a walking, I don't just have an encyclopedia of archive pieces in my head. So I'm pretty much spewing bullshit at you. Um, this piece is honestly not that bad in my opinion. For it to have more downvotes than upvotes, I actually think that this is like one of the better, like more stylistic pieces. Um, obviously, it's going to be incredible quality because it's a shot leather jacket. Um, the print on the back is clean, black and yellow. Not necessarily my favorite combination, but I do think it's a really solid combination. Just not something I wear. Um, it's literally going to be like a thousand dollars. I I I'd say it's one of the better pieces after the patchwork stuff and after the like the one like patchwork ish hoodie in the sweater i'd say that, that it's like up there with some of that stuff last up last but not least actually last and probably least are these pants the poem pants that match the other gore-tex denim jegging set thing whatever um I don't know, dude. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of looking at this. Like, these, these are bad. These are not good. That's why they have more downvotes than upvotes, even though most of the people that are on here are probably literally 14 and have no idea what Junior is if it wasn't for Kanye. Um, overall, I would say that this, um, this whole collab is pretty okay. I think there was thought involved. I think that the pieces came together. There are pieces that I think will... Um, ultimately become um, like I'm not gonna say they're gonna be grail items like down the line but I do think that there's items in here that will kind of have like a certain level of like longevity to them and like people will like grow to appreciate them more and more um, it is a lot of just like meshing the two like not a whole lot of like new ideas necessarily but um, what can you really do about it overall I'd say this collab is a solid C plus. It's good. That's good. Good job, Supreme. You did it. You did something that wasn't absolute dog shit. Um, the patchwork pieces, easily my favorite. I actually wouldn't mind um, getting my hands on one of those items. Let me know what items you want from this collab, if any of them. Let me know what you think of the collab in general. Uh, again, I realize there's going to be a lot of varying opinions on this one. But yeah, I don't think it was too bad. With that being said, we'll wait and see what the retails are because uh, that might sway me in one direction or another. But thank you for taking the time to watch this here video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. It does very much help. And I'll catch you next time, I guess. Um... Bye. Got a couple new racks, new bags. Go ahead, baby, take a drag. I'm at it. Yeah. Got too much on my mind.